Welcome to the 2019 Miss Namibia Red Carpet event, straight up and hosted by the Winter Country Club and Resort. I'm Joe Mulisa, and I am not alone. Here with me is the oh so lovely Pombili Shilongo. Good evening, Joe. If I say you look amazing, let's start off with yourself. Now, you look tough, but shout out to Queen Spot. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening, Namibia. My name is Pumbile, like Joe mentioned, and I am dressed by Sizzling Boutique. My hair was done by Peace, and my face beat was, of course, done by the also lovely Hannah Nangula. And I must say, tonight, we're not only here for glitz and glamour, of course, to crown Miss Namibia, but we're also here to talk to exclusive sponsors and various people from the public who just came out to support. Tell me, what are you looking forward to? tonight uh, besides the sponsors i'm definitely looking for oh, come on the don't girl. put me on the spot <laughs> okay but definitely i got the chance to actually see the girls in rehearsals and i'll just say that yo the potential it's crazy yeah, for this eh? year hey. yeah but yeah, yeah, I am looking forward to the sponsors though. So I want to see you do your thing. Yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, the surprises that's in there. The ladies are going to be performing or dancing to Kangaroo. There's a whole lot of things happening there tonight that's going to be extremely exciting. But you know what? I'm going to go find people that are dressed to kill to talk to. I'll leave you here and I'll catch up with you later. Make sure you just view yourself as well because, uh, like I said, that with, dress though. Taking myself <laughs> with All right, so joining me here is Mr. Yaku. From body sculpture how you doing i'm great how are you wow and your lovely partner is also well dressed yeah, i'm guessing and she's also wearing body sculpture of course. that's what i'm talking <laughs> <laughs> okay so what i want to know is uh, exactly when as a sponsor how did you ensure that the models remain as beautiful as ever well the girls are currently going to wear one of our latest collections um i know they're going to they're wearing two different colors at the moment the one is called mute it's one of our bio sculpture um whitish colors and i know we added a little bit of bling so that color is called renee so they're all wearing the latest collection so please look at that fabulous nails. all right looking at that you can imagine that you have a lot to expect but just one more question i know you guys expect have expectations who's your favorite to go no i can't say that they are all fabulous i was actually here when they did dress rehearsal earlier and i told elaine my goodness i'm happy i'm not a judge <laughs> all right your secret is safe with me i know he has a favorite now let's see what from billy has to say tonight well well we're right here of course i was just having a chat with my very own loving boss mrs manesia mwenya and of course i must say you look amazing ma'am and whole african attire thank you so much you look equally gorgeous thank you ma'am so tell me uh, what has the nbc's role been with miss namibia this far you know, there can never be a big event like this one without the NBC as a media partner. Our role is to ensure that the nation out there, they know when the pageant is to be held, what the aim of the pageant is, and you know this message is transmitted via all our platforms and in various languages. Well, your expectations for tonight, any favorites? This nation is rich. The girls are beautiful. They have brains. And just to prepare them and support them, really, when they become adults and to take up those roles that for the nation. So this is the test for them, where they speak publicly, openly to the nation. And when they go out there on their own, they are confident. Thank you very much, Memenesia, and all the best for tonight. Well, that was Memenesia when you're from the NBC, the chief of news and programming from the NBC. Well, Joe, who do you have there? I have with me Tuakulilwa, who actually thought I wasn't going to say the name right. How are you doing tonight? Very well. How are you doing, man? I am proper. So he's from Air Namibia, and I need to know, how do you keep these ladies flying with those eyelashes? Well, uh, the nice part is that uh, at Air Namibia, we are always carrying the spirit of Namibia. And then it's one way to ensure that our beauties will fly instead of driving. Thereby, they are also going to reduce, you know, the time they spend on, uh, on the road. So it's better to fly than to drive. I wonder to what destination they're going next, but right now we have the destination tours from Billy. I'm so curious now who's next. Well, I'm here with the principal judge, and this is Mr. Nick, and I'm actually excited that I am interviewing him because I have a couple of questions for you, but how are you, sir? No, I'm very fine. <laughs> uh, I'm looking forward to the night. Well, Trust I everybody will enjoy it. Tell me, uh, what are your expectations for tonight, and what can the general public expect later on? General public, I think they can expect a, a good show, like always. The stress is on us, the judges. Uh, it's a very nice group again. Lovely ladies. We've had uh, interviews on Thursday. Uh, competition is tough. 
competition and stuff, yes. Well, I'd love to ask you what's your favorite, but you can't even have favorites because no, 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 you're no, no, a judge. I'm not going to tell you now. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you very much and all the best for tonight. Okay, thank you. Well, that was Mr. Nick, the principal judge for Miss Namibia Beauty Pageant. Well, Joe, tell me, having a lovely lady there in some kind of beautiful colors, share. I was, okay, those, <laughs> those are Pombili's words, but yes, you really do look lovely, Zafia Basson. <laughs> Thank you very much. So I'm curious, you know, you're the public relations manager. Marketing oh. manager. The Mar marketing manager. Yes. Okay, so what I want to know is, you know, I actually love the designs of the Pupkovitz uh, Toyota cars. What's the inspiration behind it? Well, even if I have to say it myself, yes, I love it too. We decided this year to go on a silhouette that actually represent any kind of beautiful woman. And we believe that a beautiful woman needs to drive a beautiful car. So that's why we also specifically went for the Corolla hatchback 1.6, which is beautifully styled for a beauty queen of Namibia. Wow, that was beautifully answered. And I'll be honest, I'll slap on a wig for one of those cars if I have to. But Pombili, who you got with you? She also looks lovely. She's a lovely and a beautiful personality, I must say. Three, four years back, she was crowned Miss Namibia 2014, and she came back with a bang. This time around, she is one of the judges. I'm talking about Brumalda Pachawa, also married. Congrats. <laughs> Thank you, Pamili. It's so lovely to be back, and it's such an honor to always be part of the Miss Namibia pageant. Well, tell me, I mean, it's the first time you're a judge this time around. How has that experience been for you? Well, it's always, like I said, it's such an honor to always be um, invited back. It's actually the second time that I'm a judge. And I must tell you that this time around, it's not easy. I always have a favorite or always have someone I can uh, point at. But all the girls are so fabulous. They're so well spoken. And it's really not an easy decision tonight. And to know that a girl's destiny is actually in your hands and you have to make that decision along with with all the other judges is really a huge responsibility. Well, Rebelda, you're over you were overwearing me now with all of your pressure, but all the best for tonight. We're here for the glitz and glamour. Thank you. Thank you so much and enjoy the night. Likewise. Well, that was Brumalda Miss Namibia 2014 and also one of our judges for tonight. Joe, back to you. I think I know how Pombili feels because uh, all that bling is making me look sad. Mr. Maguire, how are you doing tonight? I'm good, thanks, and yourself, man? Uh, I'm, I'm doing great. I'm just still jealous of that. So you're from the Coca-Cola Bottling Company, and this year's theme is about recycling. How exactly do you incorporate Miss Namibia into that? Well, you see, recycling is not just for, for us locally. It's about the whole world. So what it's about is, is looking after today, looking after tomorrow, and looking after the world. So Miss Namibia is incorporated into that, as she's the face of Namibia and uh, Coca-Cola, proud sponsor through Coca-Cola Light, to make sure that recycling theme is carried throughout Namibia. You know what I like? I like the fact that he doesn't just involve Miss Namibia, but like the whole country, so all the faces matter. How exactly does that work? No, definitely. We have a lot of campaigns currently running. It's World Without Waste, run through Coca-Cola campaign. And you will see throughout the country, we've been putting up recycling stations where people have been informed as to how to recycle and what they can do. Hence, the communication is going out to ensure that uh, we do recycling in the right way, doing our bit locally as well as nationally and internationally. Wonderful. So I have a very serious question here. Can you give me that jacket after the show? Uh, unfortunately, no. <laughs> Good question, though, but no. I like it so much. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. Maguire. You have yourself a great evening. Well, I need to get back to Pambili because I'm going to cry off air. Well, Joe, please don't start crying now. I am joined by the Chief Commercial Officer of the NBC, Mrs. Umbika Raihe Upi. And of course, whoa, there is no way this outfit, outfit can go unnoticed. Let's start there. Thank you so much. This outfit is from South Africa. And I was dressed by Pumulele Nsimansi, my friend from South Africa. So I'm, I'm delighted to show off how beautiful African attire can be if it's dressed well like this. You, you, you look dashing, I must say. You also are a judge for tonight. Let's talk about that experience for you. It was an amazing experience, really, uh, because just talking to, to the ladies, uh, it's really amazing because they are at a very high level both uh, in poise, in beauty, and intellect. I was really, really impressed. And it was a very difficult decision to just the preliminaries. Tonight we will complete the whole judging. But just to compare and contrast, it's like 
Wow, Namibia has this diversity of beauties. And this year, for the first time, uh, Miss Namibia, we went around the country to look for beauty queens in all over the country. We were scouting. So it's the first time that this is happening. And we were very happy to at least get 30. Initially, we had 30 contestants, and it was very difficult to get the 12. And imagine tonight, we are having a tough time to to nominate or oh, yes miss namibia 2019 this is why i will stick to just presenting because i don't want to be in your shoes but all the best for tonight thank you so much well ladies and gentlemen that was of course mrs umbi uh, karaihe upi from the nbc job back to you no 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 Bombil is playing with us. That girl is aiming for the sky. But you know, the thing about models is that they always have to keep smiling. So I'm here with Mitch Hube. So like, uh, you guys are from Wallenstein Dental Studios, right? Yes, that's correct. Right. Yeah, that's correct. So how exactly do you keep them smiling with your sponsors? Well, uh, what we did for the ladies is that we sponsored them with uh, teeth cleaning, professional tooth cleaning, and then we did uh, whitening for them. So we whitened all the ladies' teeth as well. Now, I have another question, like, exactly, the, I need to know the why, like, why you decided to actually sponsor the event. Uh, if you look at the ladies, it's not only their face, it's their teeth as well. So that contributes to their beauty as well. So to keep a healthy mouth is to keep a healthy lifestyle as well. Mm, that is what I'm talking about, gents. And you guys have very healthy outfits, my goodness. <laughs> Thank you. So back to you, my lovely Pombili joined by the Conjura sisters and boy did they not bring the A game on. Let's start off with you my darling. You look dashy. Thank you. Thank you so much. I had to come and support my sister. Like I mean we had to look glamorous. We have to. <laughs> Talking about your sister. Who are you here to support? I'm Malesa. I Joanna Swako. I call her Male because she's like my cousin. That's her nickname at the house. Yeah, yeah. Well, tell me a little bit about the feathers. What's happening there? <laughs> well, the feathers are inspired basically by my character. My, this is who I am, traumatic, out there. So I had to show it by the way I dress. Expression. Yes. <laughs> Any surprises for tonight? What are you guys mostly anticipating? Apart from your sister hopefully winning, there must be some other surprises that you guys are looking out for. I don't know. I just want to see how the contestants engage with the, like audience and the judges and just like the dresses and the gowns. I'm very excited to see that. that I, I, I'm, 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 I'm looking forward to seeing the different dresses and how they rock it on the stage. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just, I'm, I can't wait to see all these young, beautiful ladies. I want to see what they can bring to the table. What are we waiting for? What, are, what can they offer them? Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm looking for. All right. Thank you very much, ladies, and all the best for tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Well, aren't they beautiful, Joe? Back to you. So I'm here with the lovely Tuala Mwilima from Namib. Really? <laughs> See, we had that prepared for you guys. You guys should be happy though. Okay, so like, uh, tell us exactly like uh, how you're involved in this as a sponsor. Okay, so basically for us as Namibri, if you know or you don't know who we are, we are a state-owned enterprise. And uh, being a state-owned enterprise, we have to contribute towards development in the country. So having a beauty pageant that um, identifies or um, identifies our Miss uh, Namibia a representative of the country for us, for us it's very important namibia's beauty pageant for us is not just about beauty but it's about giving a, a few girls or even the girl that wins an opportunity to be exposed and also to become an ambassador for our beautiful country so as a company that operates not only locally but internationally for us having an ambassador a beautiful lady to represent us is very very key Thank you so much. That was a lovely answer. You know when you go buy chicken, exposure doesn't pay, but they definitely have the money to back it up. Back to you, my lovely Pombili. Well, Joe, I am joined here by Tessia. She was also one of the finalists a couple of years back. Now, she is dressed to kill. You're going to do a whole 360 for us because the world needs to see what Tessia just brought out of her closet. And of course, her hairstyle is something I really want to chat about because how many people really go out there and rock African hair and a red carpet, let alone Miss Namibia? Well... Please don't ask me who inspired this look because I kept seeing it around. Yeah. So what I actually did the past two days, I've been uh, doing tutorials like YouTube tutorials to check how to do it. There was a lot of flops. It looks amazing. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mombili. Well, who are you rooting for tonight? You know what those girls feel like. You know what they've been through. You know every single moment. So who are you here to support tonight? Honestly, I would... Um, I'd, in the beginning, I had a favorite, and then obviously along the competition, seeing what the girls are doing, um, it started changing. Yeah. But I have two favorites, yes. Yana, 
and Tracy. Wow. Yes. All right. Well, all the best for Yana and Tracy that you're supporting, and we'll catch up with you. All right. Well, that is uh, Tessa supporting the two lovely ladies. Joe, back to you. Well, Pombili, I am here, and I am joined with the lovely Helena Muteng, the public relations uh, officer from NDTC. That's Diamond, right? Yes, absolutely. And yeah. that's exactly the status that you guys have. Like, yo, there's a lot of money, though. Lo. So, like, why do you guys, like, keep putting so much charity into the business? I think um, it's important to support what is Namibian. Um, the, the type of company that we are, we're responsible for marketing Namibia's diamonds. And behind every one of those diamonds that we sort or we value or we market is really our love for Namibia. And so we are a natural partner to entities and projects and programs that want to show Namibia at its brightest, that want to show a bright light on, on our country. And because of that, uh, Miss Namibia becomes a very, very very um, easy partner in, in that regard. Wow, and you know that we keep on shining. So let me just ask you a question, you know, just, I know you have a favorite. I don't want to hear that come on, no, we're here to make sure everyone <laughs> wins. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me tell you, this year is a really, really tough year. The contestants are really, really like 10 notches up. Uh, if you just have a conversation with them, their interest and their passion and their understanding of current affairs, uh, not just nationally, but globally as well. So it's really, really going to be a tight one. I wish I could say there was a favorite, but everybody's a favorite because they really, really each come with a very um, special something that is different from the other and the good thing is they all namibian oh this is what i'm loving they are all namibian okay she got away with it back to you pombili well i am joined here by christy from croftovian and i must say just the way she is dressed got me thinking of production now this goes unnoticed a lot of people see you running around dressed like this and you're out here making sure everybody's glammed up they look beautiful their hair the nails it's all done how do you do it it comes with a job I've always been person for behind the scenes. So me and my best friend, Anya McGregor, we've been doing the makeup for everyone. So obviously we had to have our running shoes on and to look, have everyone look glammed and super hot for this evening. Well, what does it take to also sponsor such a big event such as Miss Namibia? It's nerve-wracking. It's nerve-wracking. You want everything to be perfect. And um, I'm, I'm proud of it because um, it takes a lot of hard work. and. Um, um, I'm very proud of this, uh, th these ladies and what they've become and how professional they are. Mm. Well, tonight I'll be looking out specially for the lashes, the beautiful oh, hair yes. makeup you did, and we'll be looking out for you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Well, that was Christy, and of course, uh, that's what it takes to be in production. That's what it takes to look. So if you see people running around looking like that, they're just doing the best that they can. Well, Joe, hello there. Well, you know, I've had so many beautiful ladies uh, grace their presence, so I'm with some serious gentlemen right here, Mr. Botch. You know, I like how to say your name. So you're, Mr. you're from Varta, right? Yes, that's right. Varta. And you have an, an, an anti-poaching campaign that's happening? Yeah, we run an anti-poaching campaign. And uh, a week or so ago, we took the, to our finalists to REST, which is a Rare and Endangered Species Trust, an organization near Uchu. They do fantastic work looking after ind endangered animals. And these uh, lovely young ladies could actually meet up with these animals and have on encounters with them you know and they saw pangolin which is the most trafficked animal on the planet and they saw cape griffin vultures which is the most endangered animal in namibia and they could learn from rest you know and it was fantastic i always say it's about um you know those moments that that take your breath away and i think we could give that to them that is really breathtaking back to you from billy Joined here by uh, Samuel Shines, and he's a jack of all trades. So I'm really confused. Like, what is he here to do? Is he here for production, for a movie, for a film, like singing, or what are you here for tonight? Actually, surprisingly, I'm here to be a superstar tonight, just like you. Oh, really? So you're gonna be singing with all these ladies? I'm gonna be singing for Namibia for the first time, actually, and, and I'm, I, you know, I have to say I'm truly honored to be here tonight, and I'll try to give them my best. That's all I can say. So when you're singing, a little birdie told me that uh, the ladies will be doing a little bit of a walk while you're performing. Um, I wanted to keep that as a surprise. I don't even know where you, you know, like, come on, let's, let's, you know, keep it as a surprise. Sounds like you have favorites already, huh? Uh, something like that. I think I would say, yeah, I've got quite a, um, a few in the list, um, but I don't want to disclose any information right now. So I keep it everything as a surprise for now. All righty, all right. Yeah. So if you know that you're watching at home, just know that something great is coming. Okay. Awesome. This outfit can't go unnoticed. Let's talk about what inspired it. Oh, actually, this is, uh, you know, Africa. 
and I got dressed by my homeboy, um, Carlos O'Neill. If you guys want to check him out on Instagram, he's really amazing. Uh, so he decided to dress me up just to, you know, represent Africa and more. He, he decided to put a little pink because this night is for the ladies. Oh, wow. That's why we're catering for women tonight. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, thank you, Samuel, and all the best for tonight. We will see you and your surprise that I almost spilled uh, later on the show. Back to you, Joe. So I'm here with Miriam. Very beautiful. I need to talk about your outfit because are you one of the contestants? No, not at all. I'm just here to support. <laughs> so, like, uh, what inspired your outfit? Um, I actually usually don't ask about outfits, but that thing is a chandelier. Oh, thank you. I love classic. I love something classic. So I always choo or choose to go for something really classic. You look like someone who's really brave, eh? I am. Who's your favorite? Ooh, right now I don't have a favorite. I'd rather just go support everybody because everybody still has a good chance. So I'm just here to support everybody so that everybody stands a good chance to win anyway. We're going to make sure that the camera is on Miriam. If she does this on one of the contestants, please call her out. That's a joke. Back to Pompili. Well, a red dress always has to rock a carpet at some point, And this lovely lady is doing justice to this beautiful dress. Apparently, she's here to support Vaya. Tell us why. Um, mainly because she, I was actually at the sponsor night and uh, we had, we actually spoke to the ladies, communicated, chatted and I found her personality very outstanding. I just liked her and she's my favorite contestant. She is my favorite contestant. Well, apart from Vaya, what, is your, what are you anticipating for tonight uh, in terms of performances and so forth? No, I'm just here to watch. That's it. I'm actually here on behalf of Pukkavit's Toyota. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for coming out and all the best for tonight. Well, Vaya already has favorites out here. I wish I could tell you guys who my favorite is, but back to you, Joe. Honestly, I feel like I should be doing this more because I didn't know such beautiful people keep showing up. Introduce yourselves, ladies. My name is Jessica Fikaner. I'm here to represent Joanna. What is her name? <laughs> Hi, I'm Zaini. <laughs> All right, so uh, what can you tell us about her? She is a very confident and a very... Oh, she's so beautiful. I don't, have, I don't know what to say right now, but she is such... Everything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what I love? Okay, what? actually I want to hear what you can say. About Joanna? Uh, I've been following her on Instagram for ever since then. She has been my favorite. Everything that she does, her, her jewelry, everything, her fashion, her style, her sense of humor, she's just amazing. Oh, yeah, I checked out on the Simply You magazine. Pom Billy, back to you. Well, there's something about pink tonight that's just popping because my nails are pink, and then Ali decides to come out in pink. You look amazing, love. Thank you so much. Yay. You look amazing too. Thank you. Tell me, who are you here to support? Um, oh my word, I have like Brecklina, I have Joanna, I have Bara. Yes, the whole, everybody really. Yeah. Alrighty. Yeah. So you're here with uh, Tala, and I, I'm gonna ask you to do a whole 360 because, like, you're bold. You come out here with like a whole suit, and it's like, you know, shirtless, like some style happening here. Tell me, what, what is inspiring this look? No, Ali is a dime. She's a diamond, yeah. you know, and I couldn't find anything that would match this amazing dress. So. You know, with this little dime piece here because she's a dime. And the shades, though. Yeah. The shades. Exactly, she's there for me. Well, thank you so much. Um, apart from the contestants that you guys shared, anything else that you guys are looking forward to tonight that you really, really wanted to stand out um, with the questions maybe? Or what, what is that one thing that really brought you guys out? Really, I just want to see those girls do their thing, man. Yeah, that's all I'm here for. I just want to... I'm not really expecting anything really, I just want to have like a good time and just support, yeah. Yeah, it's the girls. They've been doing the most on the socials, uh, the trainers. Stop, stop. I don't even want to hear anybody. He said it's the girls. Like it's so obvious it's the girls, right? It's good enough. It's good enough. It's the girls. Every guy is going to say it's the girls. I, I hope Bay is not watching. Joe, back to you. <laughs> How are you doing tonight? I'm good, thank you. How are you? <laughs> You know, you know, one thing I, I want to know, like, uh, you, you, you design clothes, right? Uh, um, I do styling and I do design concepts and then I work with designers and we collab um, in order to um, develop a certain concept for um, any client. So what do you think of my style? Be honest. It's nice. 
it, 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 we can have some touches done to it. Yo, shade on national TV. Come on, nice touches just means you look She's like crap. Style touches. <laughs> She's got style touches. We can definitely do. <laughs> All right. She's lovely. I love her humor. Next up is Pompili. Well, of course, I am joined here by Vocal Motion 6. And the first question they asked, after we spent like rehearsals and been here, they're like, are we going to sing? I'm like, yeah, you guys are going to sing on one mic. So let's go for it. Come, come, come. Which one do you want? Come, come. I will get there. Okay, one, two. I will get there. I will get there. I will get there somehow. Cross that river. Cross the river. Nothing stopping me. Stop, stop, stop. Well, you guys, I must say that uh, tonight, there's a lot that's going to be coming out from you guys, hey? Um, share, share with me, you know, vocal motion coming back to, of course, Muslim Mavia. It's nothing new to you guys. It's family. But tonight, though, there's a very interesting performance. Let's start with you. Well, uh, you guys are looking, I mean, you'll be looking forward, or we'll be looking forward to something kind of like new, yeah. but it's something also exciting. You know, like adding on a repertoire that we already know, yeah. but that's something we just want to just, you know, throw to you guys. A little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit. Share with yes, you. exactly. What is going on right now is we've brought something new to the table. We want to see, okay, let's check you guys a bit and see what happens, how you respond to that music as all. Yeah. And Mr. Jones, what do you think? Uh, it's, it's it, like the way Mark said, it's something really new. So it's popish. I'm sure you're going to love it. I, I have already an idea. <laughs> Share with us. Of course, and the last one is something that we're very much familiar with, classic, yeah, African dream, so watch out. Well, there's something amazing about Vocal Motion's voices when it's like live, yo, it's amazing. But uh, thank you very much, guys, for coming through, and all the best, yeah? Thank, thank you for having us here. Well, see you soon. See you inside, yeah. there inside. That is, of course, uh, BM6. They will be performing later on tonight. It's going to be epic. I am looking for Michelle McLean and Chops Chopara. They are going to be the glams of the glams for tonight. Hi, Michelle. Yeah, Hi, how are you doing? You're looking gorgeous. You look, we, we look amazing after rehearsal. <laughs> <laughs> mm. What is that one thing you can give away to the viewers to stay tuned? I would just say if you were going to be at any Miss Namibia, it's this one. Because I've seen magic over the last few days and it's so worth it because these girls have worked hard to get to where they are today. So I can't wait to see it. Michelle McLean, I mean, you are a dime of a dime. You've been here, I don't know how many times you have gone all the way to Miss Universe to claim it all. What message do you have for any girl out there that really want to try this out and become the Miss Namibia, Miss Universe that you are? Well, they've already worked very hard to get to the place they are right now. And um, we just have to say we're very proud of them. They're all very intelligent, beautiful, and they'd all make fantastic ambassadors for Namibia. But there can only be one winner, unfortunately. So we are looking out for that one spectacular woman that walks into a room and just wows everybody. Well, I must say, I'm looking forward to tonight is the two of these. Their energy Ooh, on stage. Lots of fun. OMG, you need to watch it. But all the best, and I'll see you guys later. Thank inside. you, and good luck with you. Thank you, hey. I'll see you. <laughs> that was, of course, uh, Michelle McLean and, of course, Chops Chopara. Joe, where have you been, though? Ta, guys, I am jealous of Chopsies to be with Michelle McLean. That woman, she's on fire. But I'm also with some very beautiful ladies here in Nongwe. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. How are you? I am proper. Erica, love the outfit. Thank you. I'm doing fine. How are you? I'm proper. But I need now to know exactly what you're excited for. We're excited for new Miss Namibia. We're looking forward to the beautiful ladies. I think they're going to give us what they're made of. So that is the excitement of the night. Why don't you guys enter? Um, we probably had to give a chance to the young ones. <laughs> you heard it from the ladies right here. That is some serious talk. Ladies, you better prove them right. Or else back to Pombili. Uh -huh. Wait, wait, wait. Before I go back, I actually need her with me. Pambili, I actually missed you. I saw those VMC guys. They almost stole you. They almost stole me, Joe. Hey? They really, really almost did. But hey, did you have fun, though? What was your highlight uh, moments of the red carpet? My highlight... Um 
It's still to come. You're still thinking yeah, about I'm it. I'm keeping an open mind. Yeah. 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 <laughs> well, I must say the three sisters that I interviewed, their uh. energy was amazing. Obviously, VM6 and a lot more people. Uh -huh. But yeah, we will be back later on, of course, in between the show. You guys will get to see us. And not forgetting that the main show will be hosted, of course, by Miss Namibia, I mean, Mich uh, Michelle awesome. McLean and, of course, uh, Chops Chapara. And uh, yeah, so we have a surprise for you. And we'll be back by 8. But we're not, we're not going to give it away now. Later, on the other side. Well, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> This is NBC One. It's ours. The Oshikoto region is the most diversely populated northern region and one of the only three regions in Namibia without a coastline or foreign border. Oshikoto in Oshiwambo or Ochikoto in Ochiherero means a deep hole and refers to one of the only two natural sinkhole lakes found in Namibia that were created by a collapsing karts cave. With its diverse cultures, wildlife and rich variety of vegetation, the Oshikoto region welcomes you. The Katrina Hausiku Cultural Group was named after its founder and formed to remind Kavango children born in Tumeb about their Kavango cultures, history and language. The blue hair and smart dresses is a way of enhancing natural beauty and they sing about the journeys taken by their parents from the Kavango to Tsumeb looking for work. Tomatwib is a Nama word meaning rock or mountain. The dancing is centered around love and bonding and choreographed in such a way that it appears as a game or play of love. Katrina Hainguru Cultural Group was named after a member of parliament as a way to honor her as a person representing the Rukwangali tribe on national level. The reeds create rhythm and the beaded hair creates beauty and attractiveness. This group formed in a culturally diverse Tumeb to entertain and inform people about the Rukwangali river culture. The Levi Mwashekele Cultural Group was named after a resident freedom fighter who passed away after Namibia's independence. This group consists of diverse Oshawamba tribes from all over the north and sings songs from various villages to represent unity of cultures. The dancing allows them to be proud of their ancestry and to recognize and celebrate their place in the modern world. The Onankali Mahangu Papermaking Cooperative is a community-based initiative that uses stalks and leaves of the Mahangu crop mixed with recycled paper to make various paper products. The name Tumeb comes from the word Tomsub in Hei Tum and means to dig in loose ground. It refers to a green hill of rich copper ore deposits that they mined and bartered with Oshiwambo traders. 
with 226 different minerals, 40 of which are unique to Namibia, the ore diversity at Tsumeb Mine still baffles the mining community. In the Tsumeb Museum, you will find recovered cannons and boxes of ammunition that were dumped into the Ochikoto Lake by German troops in 1915, before signing the Kora Peace Treaty and thereby preventing the South African and British troops from using them. The German military fort at Namutuni was raised to the ground in 1905 after an infamous attack by King Nehale's men. With the Karstfeld, northeastern Kalahari woodlands, and lake and salt pan biomes. The Oshikoto region boasts a richly diverse biotic community. Comfortable accommodation facilities makes your holiday experience in this region an unforgettable journey. At 4,800 square kilometers, the Tosha Pan is the largest salt pan in Africa and is the park's most distinctive and dramatic feature that can be seen from space. The pale-winged starling is a generalist omnivore, feeding on a range of fruit and insects, and share space with others. The leaves and roots of the Comifora africana are used as an antidote for snake bite. The Namakwa rock fig tree is usually found on steep rocky hillsides or cliff faces. The white-breasted cormorant is a diving bird. Most of its prey is brought to the surface before being swallowed. The milk bush has a poisonous milky sap that was once used as arrow poison by the early sand people. This Virosa species grows on rocky slopes. The giant African millipede has about 256 legs and lives for seven years. The eyes of the migratory locust function better in subdued light. It perceives movements rather than sharp images. The Tamboti tree is well known for its beautiful wood, its jumping seeds and its lethal toxicity. Various species of water birds are resident at the ponds of Itosha. The colorful Egyptian goose. The blacksmith lapwing plovers. And the majestic African fish eagle are common. Hemsbok horns are perfectly straight. Females have a slight rearward curve. At around 10 years of age, the male giraffe spots darken as he matures into a bull. Apart from acting as a camouflage, each color patch on a giraffe's skin acts as a thermal window to release body heat. Wildebeest live as a herd. They protect their young as a group and at night take turns to sleep. Warthogs take mud baths both to cool down and keep bugs off their skin. 
A zebra's stripes are as distinctive as fingerprints in humans and make it hard for predators to pick one out to chase. A baby elephant learns to use its trunk by copying adults. They need to drink water every day and stay close to their mothers for the first couple of months. The best time to dive at Lake Ochikoto is outside the rainy season when the visibility reaches 15 meters on a good day. Apart from being the only underwater war museum in the world, the lake is inhabited by the rare species of mouth-breeding fish, the Ochikoto tilapia, believed to originate from Lake Guinas. Lake and cave diving in this region is becoming a popular activity. A fun and informative way to experience Tumeb's history is to take a tractor tour with a friendly local guide. Animal viewing in Etosha, or a visit out to the very surreal salt pan, is best experienced on a game drive vehicle. open and flat expanses of this unique pan makes for memorable photographic moments. And one of the best places to view the iconic African sunset. Night game viewing at waterholes is a must to experience the majestic animal kingdom up close and personal. The King Nehale Conservancy was started in 1998 as an idea of government to give permission to the people to utilize the natural resources in a sustainable way. The Conservancy is given an annual quota of Springbok, depending on the availability and numbers at the time of the count. The local schools, churches and festival events are the direct beneficiaries of the meat given to the community who live inside the borders of the Conservancy. The Conservancy office is active in mediating between government and the people living within the Conservancy. Before the conservancy was established, the community had many setbacks such as losing livestock to predatory animals. Today, community members are compensated in a small way by the conservancy for their lost resources. Since the conservancy came into being, people in the community are getting much needed support to help minimize their losses through human-wildlife conflict. Horizons cooking show. I'm going to be preparing a vegetable burger using local ingredients from this area. Let's have a look at what the ingredients are. Firstly, we have a vegetable or spinach called a vanda, which is traditionally gathered from the Oshikoto region by villages. Second of all, I'll be using a berry or fruit called a nyandi, and this has a tangy but sweet flavor to it, which I'm going to be using as a relish. My third ingredient is marula oil, also commonly found within the Oshikota region. We'll start off with some onion. Regular onion is great. Fresh tomatoes and some gherkins, some of my favorite, also to just give it a little bit of a kick. So, it's best to use a nonstick pan only because it's easier to clean. You need about two tablespoons of the marula oil. So my patties are just the avanda that I boiled uh, together with some lentils and then added some bread to it just to 
mold, be able to mold it and actually hold this consistency or texture. Now that the heat is ready, you wanna just put your patty directly into the pan. The patties do not need to cook for too long because as I mentioned before, the spinach is already pre-boiled uh, before it's molded and sun-dried. So you don't need to cook it too long, you just want to create a nice crispy crust. I made some homemade bread yesterday while we're in camp and I just felt that it would actually combine in the vegetable burger so well. And there we have it, the Avanda veggie burger with marula oil and the Anyandi fruit. Make the endless horizons of the Oshikoto region your next holiday destination. anticipated Nama nomination show is here. The artists and producers have done their part. Now we await with bated breath to see who made it to the top five in each category. Tune in on Friday the 12th of July at 1800 hours only on NBC One, your home channel. With the announcement of power, Evaristus Karonda has announced that he will be running for president. Are these false hopes or does he really stand a chance now to get these answers and more? Join me, Patrick Sam, that's Tuesdays after the 8 o'clock news on One on One. Namibia, are you ready for the ultimate battle of all? Entry forms for the 2019 NBC Battle of All competition are now open. Companies and government ministries can apply to battle it out on the soccer field, netball and volleyball courts. The sports battle will take place on 3rd August 2019 at the Eros Primary School Sports Field in Eros, Vintuk. For more information, contact Adolf Chivinga on 061-291-3376 or Gabriela Olibile on 061-291-3125 or simply email battleofall at nbc.na. NBC, it's ours. you get your inspiration from? Where do you go to achieve your goals of salvation? Where do you find your understanding on your faith and belief? Tune on to National Radio Mondays to Sundays as we bring you inspirational devotions every morning at 6.50 a.m. and evening at 11.50 p.m. Also, catch our program a new season every Sunday at 8 a.m. Only on National Radio, 92.6 FM. Keeping up to date with the latest trends and happenings is simply a click away. You can watch on your desktop, laptop, tablet or cell phone. It's easy. Log on to Play Store for Android and App Store for iPhone. Search for the NBC Plus icon, click and download. Once you have successfully installed the app, go to the NBC website, that's www.nbc.na, click on the NBC Plus link and register. Follow the prompt, scroll down to your preferred subscription package and select the choice that fits your pocket. Add your selection to your shopping cart. Once you have made your selection, proceed to check out function. Enter and confirm your billing information. Review and ensure your entered details and proceed to the payment confirmation page. Once your payment has been confirmed, you will receive an email with your username and password. Download now. The much anticipated Nama nomination show is here. The 
artists and producers have done their part. Now, we await with bated breath to see who made it to the top five in each category. Tune in on Friday, the 12th of July at 1800 hours, only on NBC One, your home channel.
Miss Debutants 2019, Nasha Dunaiski. See yourself through his eyes and don't buy into the lies. You are beautiful. I am from the blood of women whose eyes are always kind, even after witnessing their homes break into a bloody war. than perfect skin and youthful eyes, then why does the media show us lies? Our children's access to genuine quality education. This weakness is generational. This is a bottle cap, and this is wool. When I started, I didn't have much money, so I used recycled, um, recycled bottle caps to just be more creative with it. These are the earrings. According to my interviews, perfection can be grouped into these main concepts, beauty, symmetry, having it all together. As Namibians, we are called children of the soil, and Namibia is the land of the brave. I stand here in front of you as a symbol of young people taking a chance. I'm learning not to let my concerns for the future deter me from believing that my future can be better than my present. However, it is our responsibility to use humor in a positive way and not by degrading or insulting those around us. Standing in front of you today, I'm well aware of the fact that I'm one of the biggest contest contestants in the semi-finalist group. But you know what? I'm okay with that. Because I'm content and I'm comfortable. And it's definitely not effortlessly perfect, but it is effortlessly happy. She is the prime example of how your circumstances do not define you. I've learned that people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel. This is not some form of aggressive mimicking or some deceptive behavior. And I'm an advocate for the struggle. I believe that if you're not struggling or uncomfortable, you're not growing. It helps young children to bring out a sense of wonder like it did to me. Providing a moment of hope that positivity in life exists. Perfection is just a synonym for subjectivity. And more about the journey towards finding yourself and your place in the world. The change starts with us. That contentness can only be found in oneself. There are four major international beauty pageants for adult women. Name them. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 Who was Namibia's first president? <laughs> How was it possible that every single person in an airplane crash died, but two people survived? How was it? Yes. Which chest piece can only move diagonally? <laughs> what is a head and a tail, but nobody? A coin. <laughs> Which very, very famous invention allows a person to look right through a wall? Uh. To look through a, a window. <laughs> Correct. What 
what was the name of a singer whose world to tour of 2013 is known as the Mrs. Carter Show? Beyonce! <laughs> Miley Cyrus is the daughter of which country singer? In which year did Roline Strauss win Miss World? 2014, that's correct. <laughs> As NBC, we strive to become the number one multimedia broadcaster of choice by 2020. We bring you endless local and live productions year in and year out from the Namibian Annual Music Awards. the Regional Annual Sports Awards, the Namibia Premier League Awards, Cup of Nations and tonight NBC presents Miss Namibia 2019 NBC it's ours Welcome to Miss Namibia 2019 pageant, brought to you live from Winter Country Club Resort and Casino. Tonight, we will crown a lovely lady as Miss Namibia 2019. Your MC for the night, Chops Chupara, radio presenter at Radio Wave and Miss Universe 1992, the lovely Michelle McLean Bailey. Good evening, Namibia. Welcome, esteemed, esteemed guests. And we'd like to say a special welcome to our patron, Honorable Pendu Kenny Ivulaitana. Is she here? Yes, she yes, here. she's yes, here. She's here. Us. Good evening, ma'am. Good to have you with us. And of course, a special welcome to you, Michelle. Oh, it's great to be home. Thanks, guys. It's great to be back in Namibia. What a, an absolute honor. And to work with you as well, Chops. Thank we you, We have Michelle. worked together before. We're going to have lots of fun tonight. So hold on to your seats. This is a ride you'll never forget. 
First, I have to really say big thank you to Kobus Moller for dressing me tonight. And you do look lovely. Let's give Michelle a round of applause, thank ladies you. and gentlemen. <laughs> And another designer's break of dawn. I'm going to wear that a little bit later. But, you know, we have a lot of awards here tonight. Not only the winner of Miss Namibia 2019. How many of you are holding your breath for who is going to win? It's a very powerful group of women, right? Let's see who we have on this side. Who are you rooting for? I can't hear you. Never mind. Who are you rooting for? And uh -huh. you guys, who are you rooting for? Okay. I can't hear you. <laughs> we'll never and get the guys? end of this. Right. I think okay. we... Okay, this is a tough... This right. is going to be a tough, tough decision for the I, judges. I think so. But we do have 12 other awards that we're going to be giving out tonight. And they will be going to the Body Strong Award, which is awarded to the Ultimate Women, Outdoors Women, the General Knowledge Award, the Public Speaking Award, which is kind of what I love, Top Model Award, Talent Award, Health and Fitness Award, and Miss Debutante, who raised the most money during the Winter Bash for that particular cause. That's right. And we have other awards that we're going to be giving out as well. So these awards will be given out a little bit later in the show, along with Miss Photogenic, Miss Public Choice, and Miss Congeniality. During the eventful boot camp that we had last week, uh, we chose our section winners. And over the three days, the ladies strutted their stuff and competed daily to achieve excellence. The interviewing judges, uh, the inter interview judging took place on Thursday. And tonight, we are looking at stage personality during the entire production. We're also looking at charm, poise, and impact in the evening wear parade where each finalist is wearing their own gown that they've selected themselves for the first time this year. Let's give them a round wow, of applause just for that. Wow, that's a big thing. And they look gorgeous, by the way. I saw the rehearsals, so we know. <laughs> I think it's going to be a tough choice. So um, the ladies definitely all look outstanding, and the judges have a real tough choice to make tonight. We also want to say thank you to our Namibian artists who are performing tonight. VM6, they need no introduction. Thank you, VM6. It's going to be an awesome night, guys. Very and a, exciting. And a special welcome to Samuel Shine, who shines, who I saw performing earlier. Welcome. And you'll see both of them performing a little later on. And you know, as a former winner of the Standard Bank Women of Excellence Award in 2012, I'm so proud to say we do this every single year. The winner of this year will be announced in 2020. But Standard Bank, we thank you for your support in all of this because the women that are supported work in the communities and they do incredible work. They do so much for our community. And so we're gonna honor them in 2020. We're gonna announce those names. But really, it's one of those things where we have to say that Standard Bank has really risen to the occasion to support um, women in the community helping out. And the Michelle McLean Children's Trust actually works together with the reigning Miss Namibia together with these recipients of That's the great. awards. So thank you very much. Big round of applause to Standard, Standard Bank. Bank. Before we introduce to you our 12 finalists, allow me to introduce to you our esteemed panel of judges who have taken their time so willingly and enthusiastically over the last few days. We are honored to introduce to you the judges. Right, so somebody who needs no introduction he is the principal judge, well-known businessman, and former national director of the Miss Namibia pageant, Mr. Nick Kruger. We also have chief commercial officer and director of the new joint venture at NBC, Madam Umbi Karwaye Upi. And a lovely lady of Namibia who's been a wonderful ambassador, Miss Namibia 2014, Bromilda Pacheo. And we have a manager of public and corporate affairs at NDTC, somebody who I look up to, it's Madam Helena Mutseng. 
And our manager of e-commerce of Air Namibia, please welcome John Mutesi. That's Thank right, you. ladies and gentlemen. Let's give them a round there of applause. There we go. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, these judges have a very, very difficult job tonight. So please help them, support them. Let's have a great night. That's right. Let's do this. Let's go. Woo! Let's do this. Welcome to Miss Namibia 2019 pageant. Brought to you live from Winter Country Club Resort and Casino. Tonight, we will crown a lovely lady as Miss Namibia. gentlemen I don't think you are ready now I'm sure you want to meet them right you want to meet them no they don't want to meet them you want to meet think the they're girls? ready yes right it's been a journey you're looking very confident how are you feeling I'm feeling very excited I'm Nacha Betzebach, 24, born in Bretton, Windhoek. Put your hands together! Woo! Come on, let's support these ladies! All right, so do you have support here tonight? Definitely. My whole family is here. <laughs> Can you hear that? <laughs> yes. I am Nashia Dunayski, 24 years old, from Windhoek. All right, so 
You know what? He wants to ask you a question. I could just see he's absolutely... I, I want to ask the question about the spirit of the ladies. How is the spirit of the ladies right now? It's absolutely amazing. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. I'm we so can see grateful that. to be here. Thank you so much. <laughs> My name is Jana Hinesh. I'm 23, born in Valfersby, raised in Vintook. <laughs> Tough competition tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Don't you agree? Tough competition. All right. So, this week, what was your favorite part of the experience? I want to say the practice, but really, it was the buffet. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to the Winter Country Club Resort. <laughs> exactly. My name is Barakwani Hambira. I'm 23 from Onjombo Yarukune. Wow. <laughs> okay. Here she is. Would you like to ask her something? I think I, I think I would like to ask something. When you decide to enter the contest of Miss Namibia, it's a conscious thought. A lot goes through your mind. What was the first thing that was going through your mind? Well, I definitely saw it as a challenge, but um, I was definitely ready for it. So... <laughs> yeah. yeah, give it up for her! My name is Tracy Lee Junius. I am 26. I was born in Rehoboth and raised in Ventuk. <laughs> Thank you. Take it through. <laughs> All right. So who's your favorite now, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> might be you. Just might be you. Do you have family here tonight? Yes, my mom and dad are over there. <laughs> Hello, mom and dad. How you doing? I bet they're very proud. <laughs> My name is Emily Kandanga. I'm 27 from Fintuk. I know the Miss Namibia con uh, pageant is not only about beauty, intelligence, it's also about physical challenges. If you could race me from the bottom of this stage to the top, who would win? Is that really your question? <laughs> My name is Michelle Abaskagni. I'm 23, born and raised in Ventuk, and currently living in Wallfish Bay. And she's got some chutzpah, don't you agree? Some serious attitude. All right, so girlfriend, what is your favorite part of this whole pageant so far? I love the fact that we can all be friends and it's just an amazing group of women, honestly. Can see that. Good evening, Namavia. I am Taylor Manetti, 22, born and bred in Vintuk. I really love to see somebody who has so much confidence, has a spring in her step like you have. What's making you so happy today? I'm just so excited to be here. It's been two months in the running, and tonight is a big night. Good evening, Namibia. My name is Julita Kituembangula. I am 23 from Ekugu Okatana in Oshana region. Give it up! Woo! So, hello, darling. So you have supporters here tonight as well, right? I do, I brought the whole family. The whole Over there, oh my gosh! There's the whole Lauren team. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Lucky you. Yeah, thank you so much. I'm Lauren Pringle, 21 years old. I was born in Chume, but raised in Swakop and currently living in Ventuk. Enjoy the evening. Good luck. When you told your family that you were entering the pageant, what was the reaction? They were so excited, Chops, because they've been encouraging me to enter this pageant since I was old enough to put on a pair of stilettos. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I've got to ask you, how old is that? Like, six years old. Oh, six years old. I didn't know that. <laughs> Good evening, Namobia. My name is Preklina Zacharias. I'm 22 from Ocho in the Gunena region. Woo! Lots of 
lots of support here for you tonight, my darling. So what is the best part of your experience about being a part of the Miss Namibia 2019 pageant? The best part is this moment right here. Thank you everyone for being here. I am Johanna Swartwe from Falkras in the Claras region. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Our 2019 finalists, they are exquisite. So give it up for this evening. We're going to have a fun time. Let's give a round of applause, Come ladies and gentlemen. Give them a round of applause. It's going to be a long Woo! night. We're going to have so much fun tonight. Amazing excitement right there and of course in the main hall and I am joined by Julita right here and this is the very first of its kind that we're trying to find out from the finalists what is their energy like and what are they feeling moments of the be of behind the scenes. Julita, how are you? I'm doing very well. How are you doing tonight? I'm fabulous. Tell me, how are you feeling this far? I'm feeling so excited. I'm really excited. I'm just here to have a really good time and hopefully just be mingle with the girls. Well, all the best for tonight, eh? Thank you. Well, of course, uh, the next finalist is Lorraine, and I want to find out. So you were out there doing this whole kangaroo dance, and the audience was going crazy. Tell me. I practiced my voice show the whole week for you guys. <laughs> you need to teach me, eh? You need to teach me. Well, but you're having fun? I'm having so much fun. This is a moment I've been waiting for my entire life, and it's, it's finally here. Yeah. All the best, Thanks. yeah? Yeah, that move, that move right there, hey? So we have uh, Zacharias, and of course, uh, she was just on stage right now. How did you enjoy the dance? Hi, we've been preparing so much for this moment and we had so much fun. We got it all right. <laughs> all the best, yeah? Thank you. Last but not least, of course, the South's favorite this far, that is Johanna. How are you, love? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm fabulous. Johanna, tell me, now this must have been a walk in the park for you, knowing people from the Seder can <laughs> dance. Well, I hope I showed my best and represented my people very well. <laughs> Any expectation? What can we expect from you later on tonight? A whole lot of entertainment. <laughs> Best believe she really means it, yeah? Well, of course, back to the main stage. I advocate to strive for a wow, 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 wow. <laughs> I thought that was part of the story. <laughs> Hi, I'm Joanna Swartboy from the Claras region. I love... no. I'm a bit, uh, wow. I'm an entrepreneur, uh, sorry, and I, wow. I come from a cuckoo a katana and I love, what the is, the <laughs> like, like, I celebrate our country's diversity. I'm 26 years old. Nope, but stand for rights for all. Never mind. I said, wow, okay, it's a wow. <laughs> Oh, come on. <laughs> is that a fit? Okay. What's the favourite? It is one of our birds. <laughs> aunt, 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 aunt. <laughs> Joyce Banda. <laughs> Namibia is in the top of being the most vulnerable to climate change. Because of the increase in temperature, in 2019 at the Academy Awards, mm -hmm. which former Miss Israel plays Gazelle in the Fast and Furious series of films? <laughs> and relax. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that went a lot more rough than I thought it would. <laughs> I said quietly, I quit politely, I guess 
revving up. I think you might have switched your mic off, but that is probably because of all of the excitement backstage. You have no idea what's happening backstage. It's all full of excitement, lots of nerves, but they are so prepared. And I have a feeling some people out here tonight aren't ready for... Do we have any doctors here tonight? Do we have any doctors? Doctors? <laughs> We're going to need you yeah. a little bit later. We have a few doctors in the room. My dad, for one, is sitting yes. right there. Yeah. Doc, we're going to need good. you later. <laughs> All right. So I think this is the moment where we can uh, bring out these lovely ladies because yes. I think they've done so well. They've worked so hard. And what do you think, guys? Should we give them a big round of applause? A lot of encouragement. A 
and she's an honours student in psychology. And having studied a Bachelor of Arts in Psychology, ladies and gentlemen, Nasha Dunaiski. And please welcome Jana Hainesh, economic student. Up next, we have a psychology student and works at multi choice. Ladies and gentlemen, Farah Kwani Hambira. And a lady with a master's in law, please welcome Tracy Lee Junius. And this lovely lady studied a Bachelor of Arts in Events Management. Isn't she lovely? Ladies and gentlemen, Emily Kandanga. Woo, these ladies are absolutely stunning. They certainly are. And now, third year Bachelor of Commerce, Finance and Software, Michelle Labaskrachny. and full of personality, studied acting and drama in Johannesburg. Ladies and gentlemen, she is lovely. Introducing Taylor Manetti. Our next lady is Jolita Kitwe Magula, and she's a fine Medical year student. And with a certificate in administration in marketing management, put your hands together for Lauren Pringle. And this young lady has studied business and marketing at Southern Business School. She's also a jewelry designer. Put your hands together, Johanna Swartboy. Put your hands together, ladies, for our 12 Miss Namibia finalists for 2019. Aren't they absolutely stunning? They work so hard, right? They are so confident. Woo! Here they are again. A round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Big round of applause. different. Roads were a luxury. No one to look after you if something went wrong. So this is where you came for your wagon. Best quality, best service, peace of mind. Nothing has changed. The best quality vehicles, widest range and the best service is still what you get. Our business philosophy guarantees you that. Popkovitz Toyota since 1975. Go 
Backstage, just to find out how the girls are doing, and I'm starting off with Nashia. <laughs> so I want to find out exactly. There's a lot of adrenaline involved. So what's, let's see how things are happening through your eyes. Through my eyes, it's amazing. The crowd is amazing. It's so hot in here. We're in bikinis, and I'm having so much fun. <laughs> I love that. Thank you so much. You have yourself an amazing show. And one thing we everybody knows is the dancing. So let's ask Vara. <laughs> How are you? I am doing well. You look amazing, by the way. Thank but is it, isn't it cold in there? Not really. I think everybody's making it pretty warm. And we got a little heated up, so I think we're all pretty warm right now. I am loving it. And they're going to bring you just more heat. Thank you so much, Vara. Thank you. And last but not least, we have the lovely Emily. Emily, how's it going? I'm feeling great. <laughs> what do you want to say to the people screaming behind? Keep screaming. <laughs> we got plenty of more show for you guys. <laughs> You gotta trust Emily. Thank you so much. You have yourself a great show. They are on fire, but right back to your main stage. The Body Strong Challenge saw the ladies competing against each other with professional drive and energy in hard fought sessions. believe at NDDC that um, Miss Namibia is a, is a national institution uh, and we believe that it's a great opportunity for, for young women to, um, to showcase their talent and actually more importantly make a, a positive impact in the societies from where they come from and the communities that they come from. And our association with Miss Namibia is really to look at how can we help that process how can we facilitate and make sure that you know uh, that uh, that platform is delivered in in, in a way that it enables these uh, these uh, young women uh, to to actually you know uh, plow back their talents and not just propel the the pageant forward but propel Namibia uh, forward from that perspective. I think what is also important is to highlight that you know if you look at what Miss Namibia as a pageant is trying to achieve, uh, which is really to shine a light on on talented young Namibian women is in line with what we want to do from an NDTC perspective and what we are passionate about, which is to show Namibia at its best. 
even when you talk about mental health in an entity like NDDC, it's something that's really important for us because the well-being of people is very, very key. And the support systems that well-being is maintained are very, very important. So what we really wanted to do is to start having a conversation at a national level to say, this is something that we are dealing with. Uh, we cannot shy away from it. Um, and uh, there are support systems, uh, whether it be through you know, um, uh, social services or even privately, there are support systems from that perspective. With Future Miss Namibia's work on things that make a big, big impact, issues that we are dealing with as a society, as a country, and to use that platform to actually drive those. And look, and we're not being prescriptive to say, okay, this is what you need to do, but it's obviously a collaborative approach to say, look, this is what the country is dealing with, what is pertinent at this particular point in time. Is there something that we can use, uh, that we can do with you in terms of creating better awareness, in terms of advocating this and making sure that you know, we, we keep it front of mind. And at least, even if we start a debate, a national debate around some of these issues, I think that's a start. We are passionate about creating opportunities for Namibians. We are passionate about putting the Namibian name out there. Um, and everything that we do here at NDTC is driven towards that. And when I speak about NDTC, I'm speaking about each and every employee here uh, uh, um, in, in terms of our passion to make sure that we do that, uh, that we do that right and that we continue to add value to this great, great country of ours.
Just a touch of your hand I can feel the sense of trust in you With just a piece of your heart I can face the world, show you the world I had for you I've been like you really want to say hi Well, I wanted just to know you but If you don't mind, just give me a chance And I think tonight, uh, some of you weren't ready, as I said before. I can see some of you over here, especially by this gentleman's look, that he's not ready for tonight. Is he not yeah, really yeah, in there? This gentleman's also not ready okay. for tonight. Okay, everyone on the right side. Yay for Miss Namibia. Yeah! yeah! Everyone on the left side. Yay for Miss Namibia. Yeah! It's incredible how... I'm sorry, my I, side wins. Okay, I'll, I'll take the win for now. Don't worry, guys. Wasn't the swimwear amazing? Yeah. The swimwear was amazing. I'm a whoo. I must I know, say. I know. I had to hold him back backstage. Michelle, you had something to do with yes. bringing the swimwear here. It's Vizcaya. actually a friend of mine, Vizcaya Swimwear from Miami, and they make the most beautiful swimwear, so I hope you enjoyed that. And we're going to definitely bring it back. <laughs> We are progressing and we're getting through to uh, selecting our Miss Namibia of 2019 and I cannot wait. And right now we have the evening gown section and every lady has chosen her own gown. Now we've made it very different this year, so every lady is wearing black, which is really exquisite. Please enjoy the rest of this program. That's right, the judging continues. So let's take a look at our gorgeous top 12. Nadia Breitenbach. Ladies and gentlemen, Nasha Dunaiski. Yes, 
she is Emily Kandanga. All the ladies looking gorgeous in their beautiful black evening gowns. Here is Michelle Labuskafni. Just look at her. Ladies and gentlemen, Taylor Manetti. Johanna Swartboy.
having amazing fun right here backstage. Shout out to Sizzling Boutique for dressing me. And if you have family that wants to catch up with Miss Namibia, please do make sure that we are live streaming on YouTube and they can check out the show on YouTube. Nadja is joining me here and she's dressed by Nicola Conradi. Yes. Tell me more about this dress. Has something to do with your personality? Yes, I just wanted something elegant and poised. And thank you, Nicola. You did an amazing job and I love you so much. Well, <laughs> thank you. And we're getting too closer to the moment. So all the best for later thank on. You. All righty. Well, welcoming back on stage, it's of course uh, Yana, and uh, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Tell me about this dress. This dress was made by Stephen van Eerden, and it is inspired by the Namibian scenery. Wow, you look amazing, and all the best for later on. Thank you very much. All right, I'd like to welcome Tracy Lee on uh, right on stage, and Hi. yo. This dress, eh? Like I told you during rehearsals. What did I say? <laughs> that you may you have it afterwards. <laughs> Thank you. May I have it afterwards? Tell me a bit about this dress. Well, I was just going for a very simple and elegant look. Um, it displays a lot about my personality as well. So. <laughs> All right. So if you're a big fan of her, simplicity is key. Thank you, Yana. All right. I'd like to welcome Michelle on, and she has gone for a little bit of white and black cherry on the cake. Yes, I did. Something a bit different, but still within the black um yeah <laughs> the, i can't remember <laughs> okay this is what happens behind the scenes the nerves yeah. the excitement all in one hey it's gone so quickly it's really really sad uh, but the girls have made it worth every single man our top five finalists and in no, in no particular order we just have to establish that no particular order Nadia Brayton <laughs> We'll make sure that the other four at that time do not hear. 
Are you with me? Yes. So that we ask the same question given a fair opportunity that they'll be in a sound booth way back with headphones on, music playing, blaring, and they'll be brought out one by one. So just to explain that to you, that's exactly what's going to happen. So, before we announce our fifth and final contestant for this Namibia 2019, ladies and gentlemen, Johanna Swap. semi-desert country with very sensitive ecosystems. During the last decade, tourist arrivals in Namibia increased from around 800,000 to 1.8 million per annum. Are we not over-exploiting our flora and fauna resources, or do we have the necessary checks and balances in place to safeguard it for future generations? Your opinion, please. Thank you, judges, for the question. I believe that it's our duty and our obligation to protect our ocean and our land and their uh, natural resources for future generations. As Charles already mentioned, tourism has increased by 1.8 million, and it is said that in the next um, two decades, it's going to triple. Our government has put many things in place to, to control that our fauna and flora isn't exploited. However, I do believe that there's always room for improvement. We need to put policies in place that our tourist um, companies need to educate our tourists coming to the country of how important our fauna and flora is. And fauna resources, or do we have the necessary checks and balances in place to safeguard it for future generations? Your opinion, please. Thank you very much for the question. I am proud to say that Namibia is the first country in the world to include environmental protection in its constitution. Therefore, I believe <laughs> that we do exploit. Um, the exploitation is not as harsh. But however, in high tourist season, it does happen that exploitation happens. Therefore, I believe that we should inform our tourists and show them the importance of nature conservation in our country. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jana. Jana Hennish. That is quite an extremely complicated question. And you can all feel very respectful of what it takes. I mentioned earlier about the pressure of being up here. Um, not only having to be physically attractive um, and then be a role model as an ambassador, but then also to be, you know, informed and knowledgeable. And it takes a lot of work. They've done a lot of work, a lot of research on Namibia, on politics, on economics, and I really do respect that about them. Let's have a look at what our next contestant has to offer us today. She'll be coming in from the back. And here she is, 
Vara Kwani Hambira. Vara, if you join me just over here. Vara, as you know, all the contestants will be asked the same question. I need you to relax and take a deep breath. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. <laughs> Your question is as follows. Namibia is, for the most part, a diverse and semi-desert country with very sensitive ecosystems. During the last decade, tourism arrivals, I beg your pardon, sorry. During the last decade, tourist arrivals in Namibia increased from around 800,000 to 1.8 million per annum. Are we not over-exploiting our flora and fauna resources, or do we have the necessary checks and balances in place to safeguard it for future generations? Your opinion, please. Good evening, Namibia, and everyone watching from abroad. I think tourism is one of the industries that is one of the highest earning industries in Namibia. And so therefore it is a very important industry. I also think that um, sometimes tourists do come into Namibia and they do go into the desert and pluck off um, some of the Valvicha leaves, which would then mean that um, its lifespan does decrease. And the littering that does happen is also a very serious issue in Namibia and in tourism to be specific. However, I do think that a lot of our tourism uh, places is also conservation places. And I think that we do have some of the necessary um, tips in place that could help our tourism industry stay relevant and keep our um, industry in place. Thank you. Thank you very much. Barakwani well Hambira. Wow, as you can see, our ladies have done so incredibly well. We have two more contestants to go. We do, and... Um, and there's you... consensus here, right? Yes. Namibia has been one of the leading countries in conservation in the world, besides Costa Rica, by the way. I D do don't know start that. with me now. No, but listen, I'm not answering questions. I have to do, I have to do my homework. Okay. <laughs> so uh, Namibia's really done incredibly well, but let's find out what our next contestant let's have our has next to say. Contestant. Let's call on <laughs> Julieta Kitwe in Bangalula. Julita, if you can join me just over here, thank you very much. And congratulations once again to you. I'm going to ask a question that's the same question we've asked for all of our top five. Take a deep breath, relax. The question is as follows. Namibia is for the most part a diverse and semi-desert country with very sensitive ecosystems. During the last decade, tourist arrivals in Namibia increased from around 800,000 to 1.8 million per annum. Are we not over-exploiting our flora and fauna resources? Or do we have the necessary checks and balances in place to safeguard it for future generations? Your opinion, please. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for the question. The most important thing we need to remember is Namibia is not an island. And it's so beautiful that we can share it with people from all around the world. Now, there's always room for improvement to ensure that our ecosystem is safe and to ensure that we safeguard it from exploitation by ensuring that there are policies in place that will demarcate where the tourists can be and where they cannot be. Thank you. Thank you very much, Julita. We have four, and we have yep. one remaining. So this final lady, has waited for a long time in that sound booth, does not know what the question is. And you ladies have done exceptionally well. Give them a big round of applause. Wow. What an intelligent group. 
of women. I would choose any one of them to represent our country, wouldn't you? Absolutely. We are we have four and we are calling out our fifth and final finalists. Congratulations again, Joanna. If you help, uh, if you join me here in the front, Joanna, each of your top five uh, finalists here have answered the same question. I'd ask you to relax, take a deep breath. I should stop saying that, shouldn't I? Should I? Okay. You make it sound so serious. Okay. Joanna, your question is as follows. Namibia is for the most part a diverse and semi-desert country with very sensitive ecosystems. During the last decade, tourist arrivals in... I beg your pardon? During the last decade, tourist arrivals in Namibia increased from around 800,000 to 1.8 million per annum. Are we not over-exploiting our flora and fauna resources? Or do we have the necessary checks and balances in place to safeguard it for future generations? Your opinion, please. Thank you, Thank you for the question. I believe that Namibia, the Namibian government is doing its best and camps like the rest camp that the finalists were privileged to visit are really trying their best to conserve the natural resources we have. And I truly believe we can do better in terms of conserving more of our natural resources because tourism is very necessary in our country because it's one of our biggest incomes. Thank you. gentlemen, our top five finalists for Miss Namibia 2019. Let's give them a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations, ladies. Congratulations. Still more to come. Don't Hang on to your seats. Go away. Light, camera, strike a pose. The Namibian Broadcasting Corporation presents the Miss Namibia Joint Venture Beauty Pageant 2019. Broadcasting the road to Miss Namibia to the crowning of the most deserving finalists to carry the title. Miss Namibia brings charity to the less privileged, promotes deserving social causes, serves as an example of purposeful living, and brings honor and pride to our nation. NBC, it's ours. Miss Namibia 2019 receives some incredible and generous prizes. They are NDTC, an amazing and generous cash prize. $70,000 Namibian dollars cash prize for the winner. $20,000 Namibian dollars for the first runner-up. $10,000 Namibian dollars for the second runner-up. WCCR, luxurious accommodation for Miss Namibia 2019. It's about the footprint one leaves in the sands of time. Popkovitz Toyota. She will be traveling in style. Standard Bank. We're Miss Namibia 2019 banks. Air Namibia. Thank you for your generous support. Imania at Itosha. Imania awaits you.
Coca-Cola Namibia Bottling Company. It's your time, our time, Namibia's time for Coke Light. For all the makeup you will ever need, Kraftobian Namibia. Biosculpture Namibia, the all-in-one nail care system that's one of a kind. Torka Optical, it's all about you. Exclusive pageant and live coaching with Michelle McLean, Miss Universe 1992, and the business of beauty in Miami for one week, all expenses paid. I am and Weller, brand combined with creative skill, creates perfection art. Varda, Varda and Miss Namibia united against poaching. NWR, a weekend at one of the beautiful NWR resorts. Wecken Fuchs, a set of Samsonite traveling bags. Body 20, a stronger, fitter you in only 20 minutes a week. Vaskaya Swimwear, swimwear for the finalists. Miami, USA. Valenstein Dental Studio, helping you smile. Namalwa Travel and Tours, official transport for the finalists. Janil Financial Services, your cash friend for 21 years. Morse Investment, Sponsor of the Miss Namibia Crown as well as the National Gift. Marita Bauer Agencies. Travel easy with Marita Bauer Agencies. The Edge. Pageant training for all finalists. Just create various photo shoots. Lisa Lashes. Lashes for the top three from Miami, USA. Maisha Leather Products. One handbag might not change the world, but the women who wear them can. Namib Re. A cash prize for the winner and the two runner-ups. Lana Dry Cleaners. For all her dry cleaning needs. Queen Spa. Dressing Miss Namibia in garments of her choice for official appearances.
shadow you can fall All I feel is my happy Beating just as one Silence and confusion Then the pain, the illusion We disappear again And we will never rise my African dream Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause, please, for the Honourable Pendukeni Ivula Isana, our patron for the Miss Namibia pageantry. I would also like to call on stage our Miss Namibia 2018 first runner-up, Clarice van der Feyfer, to join us on stage. And thank you to her for doing the big task of crowning our new Miss Namibia 2019. Clarice, welcome. Clarice, if you can join me just over here, please. Thank you very much. And we'd like to ask our prima ballerina, didn't you enjoy her performance earlier? Wasn't she gorgeous? 
Laura Bosenberg, please join us. She's got the sashes for tonight. And we'd like to ask uh, Kyla Bauer to also join us on stage to assist with the crowning process. Kayla? Okay, Kayla's here. Oh, fantastic. Gosh, those are flowers of note. Only in Namibia are going to have flowers like that. That's amazing. At this stage, I would also like to uh, call on uh, Rio... Um, um, Grant Norton? Yes, uh, Rio, yes, from, Rio, from, from our Grant auditors. Grant Thornton, I yes. beg your pardon. Rio. Our official auditors. Thank you, Rio. He's worked so hard tonight. Thank you, Rio. Thank you very much. All right. <laughs> is that for me? Is that my little special present? It is for you. I've been waiting all night for. And I will pass it on to you safely and Ooh. move away safely. Oh, that's nice, Chops. You just leave all the hard work to me. Isn't that this nice of him? This year, I'm a lot happier. This year, I'm a lot happier. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. Are you guys ready? Okay. Second runner-up for Miss Namibia 2019 is... Who's it going to be? Come on, guys. Who could the second runner-up be? No, you don't want to call any name out, right? Because you want a winner. Okay, I get that. The second runner-up for Miss Namibia 2019 is... Joanna Swartboy! Wow! Wow. Congratulations, Joanna. Congratulations to Joanna. Round of applause. Round of applause. Now things are really, really getting tight. Very exciting. First runner-up for Miss Namibia 2019. And before I say this, I have to say congratulations to all our wonderful contestants here tonight. You have worked so hard and you have all been very deserving of this title. But unfortunately, there is only one woman. So we do appreciate everything that you put into this. Our second runner-up for Miss Namibia 2019 is... I'm sorry, not the second runner-up, the first runner-up. Don't let me get that wrong. I mustn't do a Harvey moment on you guys. No, that would be terrible. That's why I'm glad I'm not holding what you're holding. So we're having our first runner-up, and this is not the Miss Namibia, this is the first runner-up. Julita Kitwe Magula. Congratulations. Congratulations. Julita Kitwe Bangula. Our first run up. There are three ladies remaining. Of those three ladies, one of them will be crowned Miss Namibia of 2019 will compete around the world and will have all the support of Michelle McLean and her partners in Miami, United States. That is going to be amazing. I'm going to really enjoy this journey. But more importantly, I'm going to enjoy this journey here with you tonight when we celebrate who is going to be Miss Namibia 2019. Who do you think is going to take it? Do you we can't Yana? hear you. Who is it going to be? Michelle, you, I, I don't I've know. heard I don't everyone know, else. I've heard everyone else, but this group over here seem a little quiet. A little too quiet. Unless, of course. What about some... you guys? Okay, I think we got that now. Okay. Okay. If it was up to you and me, Chops, who would it be? Come on forward, my friend. Own up to this process. If it was up to you and me, I would take all 12 of them and fly them all to Miss Universe <laughs> and be the first country in the world to register 12 Miss Namibias in the hey. same year. 
You are a star. It's been great working with you tonight, but the moment has arrived. And I know, Chops, you have a soft spot for all these women because they are an amazing group of women that are going to do amazing things in their lives, even though they don't win Miss Namibia tonight. However, our Miss Namibia tonight, 2019, I was going to say 1992, <laughs> but maybe not. All right, here we go. Miss Namibia 2019 is... Oh, dear. No, we're not ready yet. We're not ready yet. No, Miss Namibia 2019 is... A brand new Miss Namibia 2019. Can you believe it? There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Miss Namibia 2019. Nadia Breitenbach has got the crown and will have the crown until this time next year, 2020. Thank you to the Venture Country Club Resort for this wonderful, spectacular menu. Here they are, Miss Namibia. A big thank you to our sponsors, a big thank you to Standard Bank, Bintu Country Club Resort and Casino, all the sponsors that have made Miss Namibia possible. Big thank you to you, including NDTC, Coca-Cola Namibia Bottling Company, and more. Have a great evening, ladies and gentlemen, and thank you from Miss Namibia 2019. Good night. And here they are. Congratulations, Madam Patron, if you can join me just over here, just over there. Thank you once again to everybody who's made this possible. A big thank you to the friends and family from myself, Chops, and Michelle. It's good night, ladies and gentlemen! Good night! Congratulations! Thank you.